Guys, I could really use a Pokemon Center. There's the Chuffing Train. Oh, I thought I saw something. I also kind of like the outskirts sand. What I'm also curious about is the idea that they always talk about eating here, but you never have anything. Like, there's no proper menu. Like, what the hell are they eating? Pokeballs? What? I don't care about your news. We bring you a breaking news story. The cargo SS Libra was found in the desert of Fennec. A baffling disappearance is believed to have been caused by Cypher. It is un. <laughs> what if Cypher's just the good guys and you guys are just picking on them? <laughs> it is unclear how this ship was transported to the desert, however. I'm pretty sure anyone on the ship could tell you if you bothered asking them. Cypher's motives for taking the ship are also unknown. Well, they dropped it in the middle of the desert, so maybe they just wanted to play an April Fool's joke. Unfortunately, there was no sign of the numerous Pokemon aboard the ship. Concern is rising for their safety and welfare. You're a guy. I can talk to you, right? I'm Hordell. Are you maybe that guy? Oh, am I glad to see you. I was terrified of Cypher that would find me and drag me away if I stayed much longer. You see, I fled from Cypher's key lair, which is the Bermuda Triangle. Oh, you know that place? Wow. You people get information quickly, except for when they tried to interview the people in the SS Libra, which they didn't do. The Bermuda Triangle is a factory. It was made to mass produce Shadow Pokemon. When I discovered that I was horrified, I came back. I came to hate my job, so I escaped. When I fled, I managed to spirit away just one Shadow Pokemon. But even then, there were already many Shadow Pokemon that were produced even more since then. That's it? You're not. Why that person. Well, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Just skip the dialogue. But whatever, he gave us a Togepi to work on, which I actually forgot. Which will be, which will be good, because that gives us another shadow to work on. And what do you know, level 25. That's not going to hold its own against the Zangoose at 29, mind you. You look like you got a tan. Yeah, yeah, you have Pokeballs. Dust them off. Oh, right, this. Oh, this is great. So, he doesn't have any other sort of balls for some reason. I have ten. Uh, net balls work good on water and bug type. I'm gonna actually grab some of these. I find these pretty decent. I don't have much money. I didn't realize that. Um, we will grab three then. Nest balls work better on weaker Pokemon, which I thought meant like... Oh, their health is red, it'll work better kind of thing. Like, oh, they have one HP, therefore it's going to work like a motherfucker. But I think it actually is meant to mean, like, essentially the level ball from Generation 2. I think that's my understanding, and even then, the nest ball did absolutely piss for me in Coliseum, so I don't want it. So the rest of my money I'm going to blow on timer balls, which I find are the most useful balls in the game. I don't want six, I want five. Just because OCD. So, they get stronger as each turn passes, and considering most people send out Shadow Pokemon last, it'll at least build up some time. Did you hear the news? Yeah. Yeah, I don't care. You guys are standing up, and there's like chairs right there. We're traveling around the world region. We've been jogging the whole time. Why don't you come with us? Well, you could jog yourself up there to that cargo ship. Team Snagum's hideout, I heard that they broke up long ago. But I get the feeling there were people out there. I... And then this guy actually knows how a seat works. Guy, I've seen your face somewhere before. You may be a famous Pokemon trainer. No! <laughs> Fuck you, I can tell. I wish Pokemon... Uh, uh, huh? No, I actually meant to hit yes to see if your dialogue changed. He just says the same thing whether you say yes or no. That's dumb. Alright, fine. Um, I do need to heal at some point. Uh, as for the moment, because spoiler. Switch made it up to the front. What? Why do you guys email me all the stupidest things? I don't care. <laughs> We've, they did make the mailing feature a lot more useful in this game, though. I will say that. Well, okay, Team Snagum. They've been operating their old hideouts north of the outskirts stand, 
We don't know the size of the group or much about their leader guns at. Be careful if you're going there. So I guess I just automatically know where it is. By the way, are you searching for Snagum's hideout? Why didn't you say so a few seconds ago when I was talking to you? How did you come to this conclusion? I passed it when leaving. It was a desolate spot. Okay, bye. Hey, my name's Willie. I remember who you are, kid. You're that kid from the Cypher Pack who sent Cypher packing at Phoenix, aren't you? You were on TV. Hey, listen, let's have a battle, you and me. No. <laughs> yeah, that's a spirit. I don't know. I imagine if you say no, he either like coaxes you into it, or you just gotta like retalk to him again or something. But yeah, I like the sense of deja vu they got. I like the idea that Willie's still there. Like it. It feels like it's one of those, it's a real place kind of things, or at least as close as you could get to that in this game. I mean, I can't think of many, I guess the closest thing would be Generation 2, where it's like, oh, Brock's still just hanging out over here, or something like that. Like, I can't think of anything, because the gym leaders, of course, they do that. They don't have a life or anything. They just kind of stand there for the rest of their days. So, I mean, I don't really know what more to say. You still got the classic Zigzagoons that die in a single hit. Actually, they took multiple hits in Coliseum. They're not going to let the first fight be that easy. He's got a Lanoon, which I thought was a Lanoon, but I, mean, I can't read very well in case that wasn't inherently obvious with how many times I've struggled to read, which is funny because I've been told people like hearing me read, and they're like, oh, it's like a bedtime story. Like, you... <laughs> I got questions for you, but thanks anyway. See, Lunatone's all anally upset, and then he's gonna flip about about it. He's like, oh man, that really hurt. <laughs> We're gonna go kill you, and then call yell at Lunatone for being a twat. Lunatone, you're a twat, and Lunatone's like, I get the feeling I'm a twat, so I'm gonna shake violently in midair. And then kill him. Well, we tried. Let's go home. <laughs> Why do you have water pulse? I mean, I guess since it's a normal type, it makes sense on like a coughing with shockwave, and apparently you have really horrible stats because it didn't do hardly anything. Yeah, that's a dog is barking outside with a really high-pitched voice, or a little girl in danger. I don't know, but it's one of the times I'm actually regretting having my window open. I think it'd also be funny at the idea if there's like someone standing right outside like my window listening to everything I'm talking about and they're like, man, I really wonder what this kid's doing. <laughs> yeah. Please stop using water pulse on me, it's really rude. You're gonna make my Lunatone very upset again. That's another thing actually, even though I was talking about it. It is a thing, because I did notice it um, in previous recordings. Like, I swear, it's really weird. Some ambiences my microphone won't pick up, but god forbid if a fan is on, it's wind tunnel. Like, I don't understand how it works. It's like a car driving by at the speed of sound. Nope, don't hear it. A fan that's gently whistling. Full blast. And, and there's room noise or something. It's not the TV. I don't know what it is. I need to get a filter for this microphone or something because I can't stand it. Yeah, you're tough, real tough kid. You stamped as good. So as long as you're around or his future is safe. What about Wes and Rui? Did they die? Luna Tone's still very upset. Um, you know what? Let's let Mayday chill for a little bit. Bring it up to a 34. And then we'll concern ourselves with things. So I'm going to go heal real quick before dealing with the snagum crap. I mean, I'm glad we got a Togepi now, so we at least have a new shadow on board. I don't think anyone's ready to be purified. Well. Well. <laughs> Anyone else? We've got two places to check. And I didn't actually show it off. I only made mention of it. But now it's... Alright, the cave and the rock. Because they're having themselves a bit of a flash. Alright, well, let's go check and see if there's a Bonzi there. Oh! He's sweating or crying. Alright. Very carefully. 
you can see him just patting his feet across the floor. And yeah, you gotta do it this slow because I swear to god if you do it, it's like freaking Banjo Tooie where you gotta like creep across the caveman huts or the sleeping snake. It's like that because apparently the Bonzi doesn't actually notice that I'm almost there. Why? You run away. I can't help you if you're gonna be a little bitch about things. Okay, fine. Come back. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad you learned the error of your ways. Capture Bonsley. I actually didn't. It just kind of walked it. It just figures it would take you to find that Bonsley. It's because none of you guys have enough of a brain to use the thing. We sincerely appreciate what you've done for us, my granddaughter Bonsley. Overjoyed. See for yourself. Yay, thank you. <laughs> That's overjoyed. Bo 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 bonsly. Can I move? No? Okay. This is something that stands for gratitude. Please accept it. And we get a Bonsly Battle Bingo card, which of course will be showed off in a bonus episode, or possibly song or story, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool gift they give you. I don't remember much about using the Bonsly card. I don't remember it being much special, but I mean, I'm sure I'll have a nostalgia fit when it comes time for it, because the Battle Bingo is fun. So, that's that. I need to go take care of the crap laying around the Poke Spot then, and take that back so I can sell it and make money, and then just let whatever's chilling at the rock or cave have its dues. So I'll see you guys in a month. So I guess we're going here then to the Snagum Hideout. I'll let that Pokemon feasting in the cave have whatever it wants because I don't want to fight it. So Snagum Hideout time go. This is the last area that I think before serious changes are... What is with you people? Do I have to do something else? I trust you've been all... I trust you've been well. I'm proud to announce the reopening of the Railgum Coliseum following extensive maintenance. We look forward to your participation against Top Train. Well, that's pretty cool. There's not really anything for me to do there, but I mean, that's cool. What? Are you a new recruit? Yes. Let me battle you and see. Okay, then. Now, here's the fun part. Because this dungeon behaves exactly the way it did in, um,. Coliseum. I'm actually not sure if I should show the fights or not, because part of me feels like no, because they're pointless, there's no shadows, and I've been very against the idea of showing fights without shadows, but at the same time, it's one of those, oh, well, if I don't, we're just not going to be doing much battling, because we haven't been doing much battling, you know, except for, like, the really long, extensive ones. Like, not counting Justy, we've had, like, one battle on the entire SS Libra, and then, like, one battle in Zook. And what else was there? And the outskirts stand, so it's like, what, three? And then I showed the optional one of Willy. But I'm just saying, like, it's not so much that we've had a lot of battles as it is we've just had long battles or something. So, I don't know, I'm impartial to it. I guess I'll see. Because there is a huge battle coming up in here, which I'd feel bad if it's like, oh, well, I just overwhelmed you guys with a bunch of useless battles. Kind of thing. And then there's this huge one at the end of it, so you're probably tired of seeing battles. I don't know. Maybe, I think I'll base it on what's going on. I'll probably just, like, show this one and maybe the last one and then cut out everything in between. Because I don't want to fast forward this place either. I mean, it's not like I haven't removed it. God knows how many fights in the past before. I'm also impressed that Spiros lived a little longer than two turns currently. Uh, am I jinxing it? No, okay, good. It, it attacked Mayday because they knew Mayday was the biggest threat. Taunt? Well, it's a good thing I've only been attacking you guys anyway, so. Hey, look, I don't even have any other moves to use anyway. I mean, I guess I have Leer, I think, and then Shadow Panic. There's no point using Shadow Panic. You guys are going to die soon anyway. See, now there's still other moves that I kind of want to get for these guys. Like, there's one in particular that I want for Mayday. But we haven't had the opportunity to get that TM yet. And I'll be honest and sad, I actually don't remember how to get it. But, um, I know it wouldn't be doing much good against Absol anyway. 
it actually be doing quite the opposite. But I mean, it gives it something aside from just bite, because Claptrap has something aside from just bite. And I feel kind of bad, because the Pokemon I did pick kind of don't really benefit from a lot of the TMs or moves that are available to us. Which I feel kind of sucks, and you know what? I don't really know what more to say or do about it. I mean, yeah, I could use other Pokemon, but this is just what I felt would work. So, my butt. I'm not, the wallet's not even in my pocket, so why does my butt hurt? <laughs> That's a sense. I never liked the idea of putting wallets in your back pocket and stuff, because it'd be like, oh, well, when you sit on it, it hurts. And I remember complaining about that in high school. And people always thought I was weird because I'd keep my wallet in my front right pocket. So, <laughs> so they just look at me like, why do you keep your wallet there? I'm like, because I don't like sitting on it. In which case, most of the time nowadays, I just don't really notice it much anymore. Mostly because my wallet's like empty except for cards. Why, yes, this is my ID card. Why, yes, there's laundry money in here. That's about all it's used for. I mean, like, aside from my debit card. I usually just keep that out of my wallet so I don't have to open it and pull it out every single time I buy something. I just keep it in my pocket. So it's one of those, hey, I can pull it out in a second. There you go. Done. I don't like wasting time. I feel guilt. That's honestly kind of why I don't like using cash much when um, at a store. Is that like I feel so obnoxious like I'm taking up everybody's time or something like that. Like, hurry up. Let's go. I'm waiting. Kind of thing. I mean, I tend to think of a lot of things that are not even true, but I don't know, that just kind of annoys me. And I feel the same would apply to a card as well. You know, if you're spending all that time and then you're doing things wrong and it's like, oh, card error, way to fuck it up, kid. <laughs> That's exactly what they're thinking, exactly. 